Hi everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really well. So, the title of this reading is, Will They Reveal Their True Feelings? So right now, I'm going to change the screen so that you have a much closer up view of the cards. So for this reading, all you need to do is just picture this person who's on your mind, imagine them, and then choose between set of cards number one, set of cards number two, or set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. Okay, so right now, I'm just gonna place aside a set of cards number two, and a set of cards number three, so I can go ahead with this reading, set of cards number one, will they reveal their true feelings? So let's go ahead now so I'm gonna go ahead and just shuffle this deck several times spirit guides and the universe please can you channel your energies through me and into the cards for this reading thank you so much some jealousies here we have the five of swords okay so let's go ahead now and split this deck eight of cups okay so immediately I'm seeing for some of you that this could be a third party situation there are or there are jealousies uh, there's been an emotional disconnect here okay for some of you um you need to know that they've got their eye on you okay with that five of swords um let's keep going now so here are our clarifying cards so from the witch's wisdom oracle deck the lover's oracle deck and the work your light deck so you and your energies in this connection them and their energies in this connection your feelings towards them their feelings towards you your past together present together future together and the outcome card not to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted so straight away for some of you even before i uncover these cards i see straight away that you are you are with an existing partner they are jealous. That's for a portion of you, okay? With that five of swords there. Um, there are, it could be that this person, this is another scenario coming in now, this person, okay, you may have split from them. It doesn't even need to be a split, but they are kind of like, yeah, they're watching you and, um, they are keeping their feelings hidden here. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so you're being represented by the moon, then by the six of cups, there we go, and the past position. So this could very strongly be somebody that you've been in a connection with in the past, okay? It's someone that you've, you two have, they, well, they have certainly formed a deep emotional bond with you. You, uh, it's kind of like you've been disillusioned by this collection connection okay ultimately i feel like at a certain point you may have had to walk away okay um you are truly truly questioning this they are hiding their feelings for you the six of cups with this two of cups and they haven't revealed this how have they not revealed how they feel you know this is strong stuff I'm seeing lots of cups energy here, here. So, you know, one or both of you could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay, let's keep going. They want a new beginning with you here. Okay. Judgment, deep analysis right now. I want to take another card for them. What is going on with your person? Oh my goodness me. 
Okay. For oh my goodness, and the star energy. Um, they had no choice. That's for some of you. They had no choice. This is to do with distance for some of you. You could be at distance from them. You're questioning this. You don't know what is going on. Um, you need to know that they're feeling and thinking very deeply about you. They want a new beginning with you. They're deeply attracted to you. Okay, that that is their feelings. Um, you you are you are so disillusioned right now. The moon energy with the seven of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It's kind of like if they've got other things they've got to deal with right now. Um, let's take a card for this past position. Definitely seeing distance here. Oh, yeah. Definitely distance. Three of wands. Okay. Could be a long distance relationship. Um, and it could have actually broken down here. Six of cups, six of swords, the star energy with judgment, and the two of cups and the three of wands. I am definitely seeing long distance here. One or the other of you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag. The love is here, but so's the distance, whether that be emotional or physical distance. There's a reason why they've had to go in the opposite direction, but it doesn't feel good to you, and that's not fair. And, you know, they want to reveal how they feel to you, Let's take another for them. Oh, the high priestess. Oh, uh, I'm seeing this could be third party either side here. Something's got something that has to be hidden. Let's keep going. Yeah, nine of swords, stress, anxiety, both sides here. Uh, seven of cups emotional choices there's emotional choices to make here okay let's take a look at this outcome card seven of swords so this can mean a couple of different things not wanting to lose the opportunity or the opportunity lost okay so let's immediately take three cards For overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. This is an intense reading, I have to say. Um, King of Swords, Four of Cups, and the Lovers. Oh, okay, we got there in the end. Um, they are going to reach like a point of no return where they need to do something about this connection, okay? It's all about strategy. Especially if they've got to leave somebody else, another connection, or they've got to, it could even just be, you know, they have to literally travel energetically towards you, okay? And there are restrictions on travel, okay? There are. There is, like the Six of Swords is all about kind of like you know I see two people in different locations here whether it be spiritually emotionally physically but what I love is this two of cups and three of wands this the journey has been commenced and we've ended with the the lover's energy I feel that not they're not going to reveal their feelings yet but they are going to reveal them because we've got the lovers here, okay? Um, yeah, where are you being called to journey to? With the three of wands. They are being called to journey to you, to return to you. There's time involved. We've got the card of time. It's not for you to try and put any more into this now because it's been so frustrating for you already. Um... Sometimes things tr need to truly kind of end before they can reignite, okay? We've got this death energy, but you see all these lights and these candles here, okay? This is about the, 
the light being turned back on. Let's take a card going forwards. Oh, yeah. They are going to reveal their true feelings. Knight of Wands, very energetic. Face-to-face -face stuff, okay? Somebody charging back into your life, okay? So, I am seeing that they will. They will eventually reveal their true feelings because there's a lot that's hidden right now. They're in a deep emotional like kind of funk and they need to come out of it. They need to get more, more composed in their thoughts, okay? And in their judgment and in, in where they're going here. So uh, if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Uh, and if you press that notification button, I believe, you will also uh, get notified when I do my next reading. So I really hope that you found this reading helpful. So I'm going to move on to a set of cards number two now. Okay, so right now I'm moving on to this set of cards number two and I just want to mention I'm kind of like doing my best to do this as authentically as possible. So uh, these cards, you know, I shuffled the deck and took a card from each of these decks for the clarifying cards and for the actual reading I'm gonna shuffle here right in front of you, okay? So I haven't pre-laid out, you know, the cards for this relationship reading for you and the person on your mind um, to answer that question, will they reveal their true feelings? I just feel it's more authentic this way. So let's go ahead and shuffle this deck several times. <clears throat> so this is set of cards number two. Okay, so now I'm going to split this deck. And we have the Two of Pentacles at the base of the deck. This represents Earth signs and water signs. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. It represents an instability, but deep emotion, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and split this deck. Uh, instability versus stability, the Hierophant. So let's get these cards placed down. I just want to quickly mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or via PayPal. And I also offer a reading with a 24 hour turnaround. And again, all of the details to book are in the description box below. But right now, I want to go ahead with this reading. Will they reveal their true feelings? So let's take a look. You and your energies, them and their energies, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. So let's go ahead here. You are being represented by the Queen of Pentacles. So like what came through you could, you could be an earth sign or so could they capricorn virgo taurus i see that you have you know truly been you kind of been struggling here okay with this queen of pentacles i get the very strong message you can deal okay 
you're stronger than you think. You must know that. Okay? Uh, let's keep going. They are being represented by the death energy. Let's take a look at this past position time. Okay? Very simply put. Um, this is intense, okay? You two have been watching each other for a very, very significant amount of time or with a deep intensity, okay? Um, really intense. Let's keep going. Page of Pentacles. So, what can't they, why can't they offer you what it is that, that you both want? That's what I'm getting here. Are they not in the position to be able to truly come towards you? Uh, you're both watching each other. Let's take some more cards. I want to take a card for them. And a card in this past position. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, they miss you like crazy. They want to transform this. They're having a really tough time right now. The death energy with the five of pentacles. It's been a split for some of you. Um, for others of you, I feel like you two work together. Okay. Um, you two want... You you two truly want this um they keep it's kind of like they just want to offer all of themselves to you okay um i want to take another card in this past position oh my goodness the ace of cups you know there's the depth of this you two you two okay this could go way back okay this could go back years i'm seeing that very very strongly you two could either have split up like years ago or you two were always kind of like almost giving each other that look that there was that communication that was non-verbal okay i'm getting that there's always been this communication that's non-verbal but it's highly highly significant it speaks volumes without a single word okay you two have just been watching each other absolutely and admiring each other and you know literally undressing each other okay i'm getting that straight away and there's a heart connection here we've got the ace of cups there's five of pentacles this queen of pentacles um let's take another for them Did you meet on the beach? Okay, there's something to do with the beach here. Okay. I think they're gonna... They're gonna open up. Okay. What is this to do with a holiday? Um, I see somebody down on the... 
on one knee okay um and i see some wine and an instant reveal that was non-verbal oh my goodness uh let's take another card for this past position i'm seeing a beach i'm seeing i'm also seeing yeah the leaves the leaves of autumn okay those beautiful golden leaves in autumn and then a walk in the park a walk in the park and i see big decisions needing to be made here yeah king of pentacles you could be dealing strongly with an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus could even be your boss and now you can't see each other you may have had you may have had lunch in the park did you have lunch in the park let's take a card for you definitely could be your boss um I'm, I'm seeing I'm, again I'm seeing the beach I'm seeing like a hot country I'm seeing a lot of passion here okay I do see sorry I'm going off on a tan on many tangents but I am seeing um them having to act on their feelings and them having to yeah overcome whatever obstacles okay that are in the way of this uh let's keep going temperance oh yeah there's that deep passion this is like the lovers times a hundred because it it tells me that the the deep passion and love is here but there may be some circumstances like kind of in the way of this okay and there needs to be the need for patience let's take a look at the outcome an open honest full-on conversation okay queen of swords um What I'm getting here, for some of you, you've waited for them for a long time. And it's when you detach is when they come forwards. The devil and the queen of swords. That's for some of you. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I love it. Divine orchestration, help us in the subtle realms. There's like a divine connection here. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So with this Queen of Swords, for some of you, you're going to step away, especially with this Queen of Pentacles. And you're going to allow them to truly reveal their feelings when you depart. Okay? Oh, and there it is. That's why we had the devil energy. We've got the card of passion here. This is so passionate. You know what I'm seeing here? The chariot and the seven of wands. You know, and this devil energy with this power energy. Sorry, this fire, passion energy. Uh, I feel like it's quite urgent, actually. It's kind of like you've both waited long enough now. And it's just a matter of time now. And it's not going to be long until they actually do reveal how they truly feel. And it's, it's full on, okay? It's full on here. Um, I'm seeing deep, deep, deep passion. That That is what their feelings are, okay? Uh, and it's, it's embodied and, like, surrounded by this, like, beautiful, energetic, loving energy. So it goes beyond passion, okay? So there we go. Uh, I'll leave that one there. That was powerful. Um, I really hope you found this reading helpful. If you did... Um, I'd be so grateful if you gave it a thumbs up and if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, uh, then you'll catch my next reading, which should be really quite soon. So I'm going to move on to set of cards number three now.
Okay, so. Moving on now to set of cards number three. Will they reveal their true feelings? Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck right here now. Um, I prefer it like this. It's, it's more authentic. You can see me shuffle and see the cards as they come out. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this deck a couple of more times. And this is a relationship reading for you and the person on your mind, okay? To answer that question, will they reveal their true feelings? Okay, so now I'm going to split this deck. We have the two of pentacles at the base. This is deeply emotional. Um, it's about things being out of balance. Uh, we see straight away, we see earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We see water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay, so let's take a look now. And we also see the two of swords. So there's kind of like lots of weighing up going on here. Also, air uh, signs involved, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, so there's lots of weighing up and there could well be decisions to make. Okay, so uh, let's get these cards placed down. So you and your energies them and their energies your feelings towards them their feelings towards you your past together present together future together and the outcome card not to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here are our clarifying cards and before i get started i just want to quickly mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized reading with me all the details to book are in the description box below either via paypal or etsy I also do a 24 hour reading. Again, all the details down there in that description box, but I really wanna go ahead with this reading now. Will they reveal their true feelings? So let's take a look. You and your energies. Well, I feel like you are reaching the point where you're about to say enough is enough, okay? Uh, Six of Pentacles, that they've simply not kind of like, done anywhere near enough for you to make you feel secure in this connection okay i'm getting that so strongly the six of pentacles is you know truly about feeling as though somebody is not given to this connection what you deserve okay it's quite a profound card for you um It's kind of like this person could have been in and out of your life or I'm also getting that they, they're around but they're just, it's kind of like they're, are you, having, are you the one having to chase them, okay? Because that's not right. You know, that's what you need to know is that if it feels that out of balance, then something truly has to give okay let's keep going they're being represented by strength and their energy towards you the sun you're dealing with someone who's very very egotistical okay somebody who actually and it is not good energy it's somebody who likes to, instead of liking the chase they like to be chased okay Um, they're kind of like, they love the attention. So you, the, there is some cautionary energy coming in for you here, okay? 
Can a leopard ever change its spots? Really? Let's take another card for them. You light up their life. You do. But it's kind of like they don't know how to do a relationship properly. I hate to say that. But they don't know how it works. Ugh. That's what it feels like. They don't know how it works. Okay. And do you know what as well? Is I'm getting the... It's, it's a really strange uh, message coming in here. You mean so much to them that they can't show you. They can't show you that because that would make them vulnerable. Three of one, sorry, three of cups and the devil just leapt to the top of the pile. Oh my goodness. This person actually could be, oh, this is so like messed up. It's kind of like they're not giving you any attention but you are all that they think about. And they think that treating mean, keep them keen works. And it doesn't. Because they've got, they are so focused on you. And they're watching your every move with this three of cups. They, it's kind of like they need to know everything that you're doing. This could be a friend of yours. I need to take a look at this past position. Oh yeah, that says it all. That says it all, the moon energy. They're making you kind of like be in this moon energy, which is a card of pure confusion, okay? And it's because they're giving you mixed signals. They love the attention, but they love you too. And they can't balance that out in their mind. They just can't. They're not used to it. Because, you know, you do, you do make them so happy. Let's take another card in this past position. Oh, I just saw the Nine of Cups. Whew. Uh the death energy this could be someone that you've split from okay and they just thought that you were always going to be there but you've had the realization that they're just not given enough but they are ultimately energetically chained to you okay um but there they are holding it all in oh you You've got a tricky, tricky person you're dealing with here. Okay. Let's take another card for them. Yeah. They've got their... Oh, they, they are literally... This person is obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. Okay. I feel like at a certain point you put them in, in their place. And they couldn't handle it. And now... They are, like, so fixated on you. Oh, my goodness. But the, they're giving you the idea that they're fine, okay? That's what they're doing. They're giving you the idea that they're fine, but they're not. They're not at all. Um, power struggles. Power struggles, okay? There are power struggles in this connection. Um, they can't stand... The fact that that now they've fallen. They've fallen. They've fallen in love. Okay? And they don't know how to handle it. It's in it is intense. Are they going to reveal this? Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. The five of wands. Let's take a card for this Five of Wands. Your person kind of likes to create drama. 
Yeah, they do. And they create their own drama. Because they're actually heartbroken right now. Um, we've got air energy, fire energy here. Um, it's all about they've created their drama now because you've you've stepped back or you're about to. It's kind of like you. It's kind of like you're sending them a message. Okay. I feel like they're gonna go through like a bit of a meltdown here and then then they just come back towards you and they start truly kind of like trying to trying to repair the damage okay six of pentacles six of wands oh eight of swords you may say no you you may not believe this okay um so there's major arguments there's disagreements there's there's rejections but there is strong strong energy between you two i can't deny it I can't deny this energy. We, we, you know, we we leap to the Ten of Pentacles here. The card of long-term commitment. With the Three of Pentacles. So, it tells me they're coming back in. And I feel like you two are going to work on this. Let's take a look intention align your life so what i'm getting for you okay align your life with the six of pentacles restore the balance okay the moment that you align your life and realize that this isn't right it's kind of like Instead of them causing the chaos, you're doing it instead. Because you're up in the ante. You're making it so that they, if they want this with you, they truly do have to reveal how they truly feel. There could be third party here involved as well, I do have to say. Oh, uh, we have the soulmate energy. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So, there is a, a high significance in this connection. There's like, there's a root, oh, yeah. There is a root to the goal. And look what we have. The Ten of Swords and the Star. Let the tower fall. Walk away. And then we have the Star Energy, the Renewal. Okay. So, I do see that they are going to re reveal their feelings but there is a time period and quite a process okay before this happens and you need to now um focus in on yourself and on what you truly deserve um i do feel that you're dealing with a like a, a difficult person here, but they're very focused on you. Um, and after a difficult journey, things could truly start to happen here and they will truly say their piece and say how they truly feel. So, uh, wow, uh, there we go. Uh, I'll leave the reading there. If you found it helpful, um, I'd be so grateful if you gave this reading a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, then you'll catch my next reading. Okay then, bye.